Good afternoon, guys. So I just woke up from a nap. Today was pretty early. I woke up like 6 a.m. Finished my diving course. So I'm now certified open water diver. That's awesome. And uh, we dived twice today in the morning. And we saw sea turtle in the ocean. It was amazing. We also saw a uh, stingray, other big fish. Bacurada, like a big fish, big face. But anyway, so I have been in Kotao right now for three days so far, and uh, pretty much did a diving lesson like three, four days, and today was the last day. Finished, certified, took a nap, and I'm gonna go walk outside. So I thought I'm gonna show you guys um, Kotao. I'm gonna walk around and I show you guys what it's like. So now it's in my private room here. And we gotta get out. Oh I had like two hours nap. A two hours nap. Pretty tired after you know diving with like your legs flapping up and down. It's pretty much like your uh, working out on your calves, calves, hamstrings, quads. So I have a little sore, soreness. My calf. So right after the uh, this place, is a beach. It's uh, near sunset time. In an hour and a half or so. So this street is pretty busy. If you go to the left, then you're gonna see a beach bar, stuff like that. Oh, I'm so hungry. So at the moment it's 5 p.m. Let's walk on the beach. I didn't put sunscreen because the sides coming down, angle is getting shallower. So I don't think uh sun sunshine is that strong. But yeah, this is a Kotao beach pretty much. Go all the, around I dived around there. I mean like diving centers around there. And then town left here, you see a big rock. That place has like three bars right next to each other. It's called a uh, fishbowl, B and D, and also AC pool bar or AC beach bar. The AC beach bar has awesome pool and jacuzzi. Um, I haven't gone out in Kotao since I came here because really I needed to wake up early, like before 8 a.m. So I didn't go out or party. And those two islands, a little ones like a twins, called now Yang or something like that. It's a nice viewpoint. Uh, I plan to go there tomorrow. But what's good about Kotao is uh, sunset time. You know, it's gonna sun is gonna sink down over the horizons, and it's super beautiful. The color is unreal. You know, especially after the sunset. It's called a dusk. It's rainbow, purple, yellow, orange, burning red. So I've been seeing the sunset in Kotao for past three days and then it's amazing. It's different because in Kopipi, you can't really see the sun coming down over the horizons because of the uh, hill, a little mountain hill blocking the horizon. In Phuket, you can, like Patong Beach. So this is the uh, fishbowl. BND. Anyways, I'm getting hungry. Sound. And it's just, uh, you know, just a serendipity. All you hear is your kind of oxygen mask, the bubble coming out from your mouth. Like, that sound, constant sound about your 
uh, bubbles coming up, plus view, plus ocean vibrating, like low frequency. It was like, you know, some kind of like addictive uh, experience. So what now? I'm definitely thinking about in the future doing a like instructor internship, you know, near maybe Kopipi or Kotao. I don't know, but you know, definitely want to do like six months, four to six months in the winter time. Um, I want to dive. I want to get advanced rescue and a dive master, and I want to be an instructor. Or, you know, maybe I could do part time as well. Uh, so that's kind of my plan so far. I definitely want to mo dive more and see and beautiful creatures under the ocean. And what's good about you know diving for me is that it's really athletic thing. It's athletic activity. So you know you need to be fit. You need to be like swimming. You need to be active. And you wake up and then go to bed early, so it's not like a bartender or like a nightclub DJ where you need to stay up late, you need to drink, you need to smoke because of social pressure and whatnot. That none of that for a scuba diving instructor, or scuba dive master. You shouldn't be smoking and you shouldn't be drinking right before. You can still drink socially, but you shouldn't be drinking a lot. And uh, yeah. It's uh, you need to take care of your body, and so people who dive or doing dive master or stuff like that are typically more you know healthy because they require a fitness and a health to dive, and I like that. I like that. And then other thing, it added the benefit of you know doing diving is like you know you are surrounded by beach sunshine, a lot of sunshine, so which is good for vitamin D. You know, it makes you feel much better, positive, uplifting because of the sun. You know, just a scientific research about it. You know, the sun makes you feel much more positive, you know, confident, and happier. And just uh, you know, surrounded by natural beauty, ocean, sun, mountains like that. It just makes you feel relaxed and uh, enjoy your life more, appreciate nature more. As opposed to living in a city building and like artificial skyscrapers, nine to five, uh, that's 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 not what we are built for in the past million years of uh, evolution. So definitely, like you know, finding the right finding the right you know place to live, you know, find your inner peace. Um, It was a pretty cool experience. So that's that for uh, daytime. I kind of walked you through, like I walked, I walked you in uh, the central street in Kotao. Nothing much is happening now because it's 5 p.m. I think 6 p.m. More people is gonna come in for sunset, and as night gets, you know. Deeper and deeper, I think more people are gonna come out. Right now, I think people are taking nap after you know beach session during the noon. They're getting ready for a uh, nighttime action. So yeah, I will I will show you guys another another aspect of hotel. Maybe at nighttime, my friend is arriving in two hours. So we're gonna go out first time for me, and uh, for me myself, I'm gonna go eat. I need a tom yam kung. Tom, I had tom ka coconut soup, white coconut soup yesterday. So I think I'm gonna have tom yam kun with a seafood. So high in protein, a lot of veggies, pretty healthy. By the way, I lost one kilo probably because of a combination of uh, eating below uh, caloric maintenance and also walking and also diving. So diving like swimming, it's a cardio exercise. So I lost one kilo. Uh, slowly over the a week and a half, which is good. I wanted to kind of lean down more for uh, photography. I needed to be ready for photography, having a more vascular look. With that said, uh, that's current uh, current physique. I went to gym two days ago. I was gonna go to gym today, but after diving for two days. My legs are a little sore, and I wanted to do squat, deadlift, and the biceps, triceps. But I worked pretty hard on 
my arms and chest two days ago and I still have a soreness so maybe not to die maybe tomorrow definitely so it's you know Kotao is so far like I've been here three days Kotao is really for a really combination of a really quiet nice beach plus living midterm because apparently a lot of people live here like did you know about 2,000 people so it might be good if you're staying here mid medium long term because it's not like a super crazy party place either um, so you can kind of feel that real slow rhythm as you make a living here anyways we got to the uh, restaurant this is the best place apparently in Kotao coffee boat restaurant it's super cheap for example the Thai food I usually order this Thai food uh, green curry so tom yum is 100 they have a they should have curry as well red curry I tried that lunch just big portion pretty cheap 80 plus rice 20 you know so it's definitely recommended if you check up on the Google review it's pretty high anyways I'm gonna go eat so see you in another video so I just ordered Panang curry Panang is like kind of coconut tea Thai curry a little bit spicy but not so much and I just ordered just a curry without rice or noodle and this is a lot of volume here For just 80 bar you get a lot of pork or like chicken or seafood or a choice of yours and the veggies so this is like how I eat at the dinner time without any rice or noodle and just you know plenty of protein fat without carbohydrates and a lot of the veggies as well so yeah I'm gonna have this I go eat and then get ready for sunset time because sunset is gonna come in 20 minutes. 